All right, so welcome back to the channel. This one's a little bit different. Uh, obviously, you saw the title. Um, don't skip ahead yet. Sometimes it's good to hear the history of something. So I'm going to sum up many years of history in less than 30 seconds, and then I'm going to get into it. As a child, I grew up with my parents taking us out to all sorts of restaurants locally that had hot wings. Actual hot wings, not just a little bit of Frank's Red Hot uh, sprinkled on it. I was able to handle everyone's hot wings wherever we went. Fast forward Boko years later. Um, out of the military, hanging out with a buddy, we go to a bar. He says, yes, I'd like 15 of your mild wings, please. So I had to pull a Kinetic Energy 1085 and I said, give me 15 of the hottest sons of bitches you could possibly make. Just like something you'd see in a movie. People were looking at me, they're saying you're not going to handle it. And yes, he said that line. You eat five of these, the pitcher, the beer, you know, the, the wings and his, it's all on me. I'm like, I've handled everything. I've handled everything there is to be hot. They open the doors, my eyes start watering. Kind of, you know, um, well, I'll get in a second. Put the wings in front of me, and um, I knew I was in trouble uh, just by the smell. It, it kind of reminded me of being back in the gas chamber when I was in boot camp. So I'm like, this is going to be a problem. I ate one. I'm kind of dying. I ate the second one. My whole body's on fire. Um, I get to the third one. I don't finish the third one. Here's the mistake. I've rubbed my hands on the napkin, and then because my nose and eyes were watering, ah, I rubbed my eyes. Yeah. Ended up in the bathroom. Um... You know, snot pouring out of my nose, just like the gas chamber. My eyes are burning. The door opens, and I hear some guy say, We got to call a paramedic on this guy. I'm like, No, no, no. I'm okay. <laughs> snot pouring out of me, right? So I asked him what was in this stuff, and he said it was a squirt of what's called Dave's Insanity Sauce and butter. So I ate Dave's Insanity Sauce. I put it on things here and there, and it was the hottest hot sauce of ever I have ever smelled or tasted in my life even other people that were tough guys like I thought I was couldn't handle it so I'm hearing about these this whole challenge thing now I hear it's hot as hell beyond hot these little freaking chips so if the hottest thing I've ever had was Dave's insanity sauce we're going to try this. Just want to see. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, how is this a Kinetic Energy 1085 video? It's not about the uh, the truck or it's not about any anything gun related. Well, lucky for me, I'm sitting in the truck. So that counts as one. Second, here's a Glock. <laughs> now it's an official Kinetic Energy 1085 video. So after all these years, we're going to try it. You open these things up. And I, now, I promised my kids I'd, sa I'd save them some because my daughter and I are also into those Korean fire noodle things. So my son wants to save this poster, bragging rights, and here it is. It's just this little freaking package of a chip. So I told the kids, all right, so we're going to smell it first. All right, so it's nothing ridiculous as far as smell. I promised them I'd save them some. I'm going to take a bite. shit <laughs> I felt a vapor felt a vapor in my throat and uh, am I in trouble did I just get myself in trouble Well, shit. <laughs> they say it's called capsin or something that's in these things. Capsin. It's in mace. Shit like that. Um, it's hot. My mouth's burning. I don't even know if I'm gonna give this to my kids. It's hot. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, so um, I'm hurting. 
I'm glad I didn't eat the whole thing. <clears throat> I've handled the hottest of hot. Nothing competes to Dave's insanity sauce. And this does. All right, so we'll do that. We'll give it a minute or two. <clears throat> well, holy crap. So they say everyone's body reacts to things differently. Gunshot wounds, spices, stuff like that. I had a piece and um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say this is the equivalence of the burn of day's insanity sauce. I'm not kidding. And I can handle some pretty hot stuff. Um, I'm honestly gonna say, if you're an adult, don't give this to your kid. <clears throat> yeah, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, so we're still sitting here. We're just seeing some kind of reactions. Oh, wow. It's a burn. It is definitely a burn. My sunglasses are fogging up too. <clears throat> anyway, I uh, I don't freaking believe it. I just don't freaking believe it. So, Carolina Reaper plus Naga Viper Pepper. Um, <clears throat> I've had ghost pepper before. I think I had... I'm pretty sure it was, uh, my daughter gave me one, it was a Carolina Reaper pepper. And uh, it was pretty hot, but I think it's, if I read correctly, it is the, uh, what is it, the uh, Naga Viper pepper that has the millions of whatever the freaking, good Lord, <clears throat> whatever the millions of, what's it called, the, heat index of a chip um so i've seen some people eat these all right so check this out keep out of reach of children intended for adult consumption do not eat if you're sensitive to spicy foods allergic peppers night nightshades or capsaicin or are pregnant or having medical conditions after touching the chip wash your hands with soap and water do not touch your eyes like my dumbass did years ago Seek medical assistance should you experience difficulty breathing, fainting, or nausea. <clears throat> well, there you have it. I didn't eat the whole chip. Um, I'm hurting. I'm not going to give it to my kids. Um, the burn is equal to Dave's insanity sauce. Again, thanks for watching. Separate five. Yuck!